Welcome to Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. To make it easy, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. First, log into the GUI of the UCM. From there, go to System Status and click on System Information. Scroll down to Program and check your current firmware version. In the example shown here, it is 1.0.2.25. Next, open a new tab on your web browser and go to firmware.grandstream.com. Scroll down to find your UCM's model number on the page. Once you have located your model, you will see a link to download the current firmware, release notes, and occasionally a beta firmware option here as well. For illustrative purposes, I will download the beta version today to show you how the firmware will be updated to 1.0.3.10. As seen here, when you click to download the firmware, there may be some important notes to read. It is always recommended to back up the system before updating firmware, but for today, I will show you the backup procedure in a separate video. Once you've completed reading the remainder of any important notes, click the correct link below to download the zip file of the new firmware for your model of UCM. While the new firmware is downloading, go back to the UCM's browser tab and click on Maintenance, then Upgrade. Now that the download has completed, you will need to extract the bin file from the zip file you just downloaded. Once this is done, you will click on the folder icon in the Firmware File Path text box to browse to the location of the firmware bin file and click Open. The UCM will now start to upload the firmware file. If the firmware upload takes too long, you may need to log in again to the UCM. Once the firmware is finished uploading, click OK to allow the UCM to reboot and apply the new firmware. Once the UCM has rebooted, log in once more to the UCM's GUI, go to System Status, then click on System Information, and scroll down to Program to verify the new firmware version. In our example, 1.0.3.10 is now being used. You have now successfully updated firmware on the UCM. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover services featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have any questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.